the alien. Welcome back to week four of my $2 beginner poker challenge. I'm turning $2 into $2,000 playing poker without depositing any money. If you want to join me in this challenge, check out atthealien.com for details. Here you're looking at a graph from last session. Let's check out the results. Last week we we're up $18.93. The bankroll total at the end of the week was $64 on the dot. We were 3.2% of our way to the $2,000 goal. The goal for this week was to hit 20 big blinds per 100 hands. So let's see if I managed to do that or not. Lately, I've been wondering how to maximize profit from good hands against bad players. And I've been thinking about on the flop or turn, just shoving and hoping that they call with weaker hands or draws. And I'm just wondering if that, if that could be more profitable than normal three streets of betting. The risk with three streets of betting is that there can be scare cards that come that slow things down. And I think that fish freak out when you go all in sometimes and they make bad calls because they think you're bluffing or they're just pissed off at you or they think you're being like a maniac at the table and oh, I'm not gonna let him push me around like that I call stuff like that I figured this week I'll just do an, a bit of an experiment I'm calling it my all-in experiment where on the flop return I just shove to see if I get enough calls and trying to figure out if it's more profitable doing that than just normal betting for three streets so I have a few marked hands here about nine Let's see what happens. Here I get King Jack, and I just, you can criticize me for limping behind here, um, and maybe you're right. I just wanted to see a cheap flop here. We flopped the nuts, and, all right, flop, I just raise a little. They look kind of weak, and here they're min donking again, and I just shove. I'm hoping that two pair is going to call me, ace rag is going to call me, and gut shots are going to call me, maybe even a club draw but they both fold. So there I, I think I lost value. I could have got a bit more money had I just did a normal bet on the turn and, and maybe got a bit more money in on the river. So there it was a fail. The nines, we get nines, bunch of limpers, I limp behind, I'll see a cheap flop, set mining cheap, and this guy min bets and I just shove and everybody folds. <laughs> I'd say that one's a fail. I could have got more money had I bet a normal amount. Here, that's a weird raise by me. Um, could have been a bit more. Anyway, he donks. I call. Now I got top pair and queen kicker. And I shove. Shove the turn. He calls. What's he got? King four. So he called with a flush draw. That was successful. I stacked him. Well, I didn't stack him, but um, maybe I could have got... Here the pot before I shove. I could have got maybe 20 more cents from him in his flush draw. And then on the river... I would have got nothing. So there, uh, I made about a buck eighty, buck ninety more. It was a success. And I should take a note that that guy min donks, draws. So here, set mining, get bottom set. This guy donks pretty big. I should have just shoved here. That was my plan. I, I don't know why I didn't do it. He calls, turns a queen, and a shove. And he calls. So the top pair, top kicker. I probably could have got a stack anyway, although that river might have slowed things down a bit. Yeah, he would have called the river. I would have got stacks in anyway, I think. Re-raise this guy. Got an overpair. He calls. I shove. He calls. And he's got ace-king. So he's calling with two overs and a gut shot. So to actually make more money, if he calls a shove, he would have called like a 75 cent bet. And then on the river, he probably wouldn't call. So so I got about 75 cents more profit there. So there, I think it was a success. Ace-king. Uh, I raise, get called. Here I got a gut shot. I bet out here. I don't know why I got this hand. In, in this review. Okay, because there I get a 10, I get I get the nuts. And I put them all in, minus one cent. And he calls. And he calls with queen six, top pair six kicker. Had I bet normal, I could have got about 20 cents. So here I got about, so I got about 70 cent, 76 cents more here from shoving. I leave him with one cent, <laughs> poor guy. So there it was a success. I made about 75, 70 cents more had I not shoved. And here we get two pair, he donks, I raise, he calls. Here, that kind of completes a draw and a shove. Now, 
and he folds. So that might have scared him away that there was that seven could have completed a draw. Or maybe he just didn't have a strong hand and he would have folded anyway. I, maybe I could have shoved the flop there. Okay, what happens here? Here I just shove uh, the flop. Ooh, it's a huge overbet, and that guy calls. So he called with two pair. That wasn't a bad call, I, I don't think. I probably would have made that call at the micros, too. I thought maybe like a, a flush draw or a straight draw would call, or just ace five kind of hand. So I think that hand would have got stacks in regardless. Okie dokie, so here is my really unscientific rough estimate way of trying to figure out whether or not this shoving strategy is profitable or not. Here are the hands, uh, these correspond with these hands that I just showed you. Here's how much money more I made, um, I figure I made by shoving, and here's how much more money I would have made had I played these hands normally. So for example, this King Jack hand, I shoved and they folded. Had I not shoved, I think I could have made 60 cents more by betting the hand normally. This hand I shoved, they called. That's how much more I made by shoving than I would have had I played the hand normally. So far it looks like this is how much extra by shoving, this is how much I could have made by playing it normally, so it looks like I'm about a dollar eighty up from using this strategy which is about a dollar, or I mean a big blind per hundred hands. But, I didn't adjust for the all-in hands. So, for example, this hand, ace-queen, ace-queen, uh, I made a buck 96, but over the long run, it should average less than that because they can suck out on you. So, for example, I put a buck 87 here, but adjusting for all in it's actually 64 cents expected value so let's just keep changing it for the king I'm gonna negative 59 cents this first hand ace jack okay I don't know why it's not here because we would have got it all in anyway so I'm not even counting that hand this eights hand I'm not counting it because the opponent re-raised he was showing significant aggression and that's not really part of the criteria of my experiment the criteria is just going all in where I normally would have just bet a normal amount so it looks like it's about break even expected value so far so so there you have it that's my attempt at a scientific experiment with really bad methodol methodology and uh, questionable results and here are the results for the week we played about 8,000 hands we're up about thirty-two dollars. We hit, we almost hit the twenty big blind per hundred hand goal that I set last time. And let's have a quick look at the graph. I had a rough start and recovered. So here it says thirty-two dollars profit for the week. It's actually thirty-two seventy according to my eight 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 balance. There's always a bit of a discrepancy between eight 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 and hold a manager. I think it's because eight 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 messes up the hand history sometime and doesn't record them properly. The bankroll total is ninety six dollars and seventy cents and that is four point eight percent of our way to the two thousand dollar goal. Let's have a peek at the overall so it's actually here it says ninety nine dollars it's actually uh, like I just said ninety six seventy win rates around 18 overall I'll take a quick peek at the overall graph the green line is going up and that's good my goal for next week is to move up to two cent four cent on 888 poker or withdraw some money from 888 and deposit it in poker stars and try out six max one cent two cent because that's my my normal game i don't play it at 888 because the, the buy-in is only a dollar when it should be two and I, I just don't like that. If you want to join me in this challenge by making your own videos to document your own progress from $2 to $2,000, I think that would be super fun. Check out evthealien.com for more information. Shoot me an email and I can link to your videos on YouTube. If you like my videos, click like on YouTube, subscribe. I'm Ev the Alien. See you in the next video.